way that the land water system works is, is there's enough videos on YouTube, just watch it, watch YouTube videos, and they'll, um, they'll show you. Oh, yeah, because there's landlords showing landlords how to be landlords, so yeah, that's how it is. So, um, what happens is they put 25% deposit into a house and put the charge on it. They, they make a three bedroom house. This is any landlord, no particular, no particular landlord, just most landlords. Because renting a property 20 odd years ago, I've rented rooms in landlord properties for 20 odd years. Rent, renting a room is basically 20 odd years ago, they had three rooms. A three bedroom house had three rooms and a landlord. A, person used to actually think you might have you, a, a landlord might have one one property or two properties you know, their own property the house they live in and another property as an income and they used to rent out the three rooms which used to cover the mortgage and have them bits themselves but landlords are now getting greedy so they actually want to actually take the so back in the day then so you know 20 odd years ago the, the tenants used to be able to have a, a living room and a dining room, which means they could actually go leave their bedroom if they wanted to. So say, say a tenant wanted to have the music on the TV on. The tenant used to be able to leave their, their room and not listen to the next door tenant's music and then go down to the kitchen or a separate way here, or have communal space to be able to leave their, their room. And back in the day, people used to go down the pub, yeah, take the party down the pub. But like now, that's not the case. They bring the party back to the HMO. So the HMO has now got, in 2022, the living room and the dining room have now been made into bedrooms. So that's five rooms. And they make another room, which is six rooms, and they extend it out. And they extend up the ter terrace houses are perfect for HMOs because they extend the kitchen out. And they take up the dining room and give like a kitchen, di kitchen diner all in one, yeah? and a kitchen but it allows them to actually make five rooms and they've got a cellar that's a sixth room which means they've got six a landlord wants six rooms because a couple of hundred of them, I'm not just saying a hundred couple of, a couple of hundred just not not reference for any, any particular landlord but um, a couple of hundred grand you can get a flat for between hundred and not two hundred grand you can get a house some places two hundred grand and um, you can you can make it into a six bedroom six bedroom terraced house for semi whatever yeah semi detached. What it, you can make a house into six bedrooms by taking out by removing the, the living room and dining room and making them into bedrooms and charging five or six hundred pound a month for them. So a landlord will then get let's just say six hundred because you you look on the spare room now you're talking six hundred quid for a room yeah big a, a nice big room you're talking six hundred quid. So, uh, 600 times 6 is £3,600 a month. So the landlord gets 3 6. Times 12, well, 10 is 36,000. At 6, which is 42, 43, so around about 45,000. So the landlord is making or bringing in 45, approximately, roughly, 45 grand a year from that three bedroom ter terrace, right? But they then have their valuations based on a commercial mortgage, not a residential mortgage. It's like if you want a, a couple want to buy a house, they get a residential mortgage because the house is not generating income. It's they go to work and they earn the income and they pay the mortgage. Whereas the landlord's house is it income? It's a business. Is it generates income? And they want a commercial valuation, which is higher than a, a normal residential mortgage. And they're not, they're not very happy if they don't get a commercial valuation on it because of the income gap. So let's say, for example, £200,000 house. The first year they've made nearly forty-five grand. Okay, they've got bills and the mortgage and the heating and everything else to pay. But they've bought in... So the second year, they're going to bring another... So the second year, they've actually bought in ninety grand. The deposit of a fifth of a two hundred grand house is about 25%, which is fifty grand. So they've made the, the deposit for the house back, haven't they? And they've probably made the mortgage for the two years back as well. 
So the next year, all the good is paying the mortgage, and the rest of it is just pure profit. And even though it's still got, and they've actually re they, they remortgage, they only want interest only mortgage because they don't ever want to own the house. They would prefer it if they only owned, if they only put 5% down. So there's 95% that will never ever be paid on the house. Whereas a couple buying a house, not a code, a couple buying a house want to actually own and have all the equity in that house. A landlord never ever wants to own any of the house. All a landlord wants is the deeds in his hands, or their hands, her hands, whatever, yeah. So the deeds entitle a landlord to rent out the rooms for bedrooms to produce cash. It's just a cash machine. But it's classed as a house. It looks as a house, but it's just a cash machine, cash generator. And it just produces volumes of cash to put on more houses, 25% deposit, and do the same again. Repeat the process. Rinse. It's called rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Um, so then, basically, then, uh, the landlord doesn't have any cash apart from the deposit, but because the house has increased in value, They've remortgaged and taken cash out of the top. They've taken the deposit out from the, excuse me, the increased value of the house. And the tenants just keep on paying. And, the, and all you hear a landlord say is, all oh, the bills have gone up, the bills have gone up. Landlords don't pay bills. All they do is they use tenants' money to pay up front for the bills. They pay, they, they, they pay one month's bills. And that's taken back from the tenants' rent. All they do is they keep they have like a month rolling. Yeah. So when you pay a month's deposit, you've got six tenants that have paid a month's deposit, haven't they? To move in. That money is for the mortgage and the bills. So the, and the deposit they get back anyway because they remortgage and they take it they take, they take the deposit back out of the house. And then the cash is just a cash machine. Which is why and tenants are too stupid to work it out. But if they if tenants stop paying rent and three tenants just go to a bank and say we're we rent in this particular HMO, we're paying X amount of money per month and we have done for years or whatever, yeah? Can we have a mortgage on a house and just pay it directly ourselves? You bypass the landlord because the landlord's money, cash machine, only carries on as long as stupid tenants keep paying the rent. When, when, when tenants realise that they can, two or three tenants together can actually get a house themselves, on a similar interest only basis initially so they've only got to pay say or for 200 grand pounds 50 or 50 so each tenant's only got to get a loan for 17 grand which if you're working most 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 salaries are 24 grand a year you probably barely get that so you've got three three tenants with a 25 percent deposit you'd be able to get a mortgage wouldn't you same as the landlord does interest only mortgage and then just but then you know you're paying into a mortgage but you're and then all you do is you turn that into a repayment mortgage when you can. But you bypass the chunk of the, the profit that is generated, that is given to a landlord. But tenants are too stupid to work it out. The, the, the landlord doesn't want to own any of the house. All the landlord wants is the deeds of the house, the mortgage deeds, so that he can rent or they can rent, whoever rents, person, woman, whoever. Can actually rent the the house out. That's all they want to be able to rent the house out and get the rent, and not own any of the property. If they would, if they can help it, they would. They would prefer to own none of the property because a person that owns their a couple or a couple that own their house and they own it outright, they could have f three other HMOs. By taking by remortgaging, taking seventy five percent out, and getting three separate mortgages with twenty five percent, she just fill it with tenants, and not need to work forty five years of their life. <laughs> this is basically, it. and more people now are buying Bitcoin, and, and Bitcoin can be used. I think it will be uh, the Bitcoin. One Bitcoin will be worth more than the price of a house. Um, I reckon people will start to use Bitcoin as an endowment policy. Back in the day, you used to have an endowment on the mortgage, where the, you pay into that endowment, and the endowment used to pay the mortgage off early. I reckon people are now buying Bitcoin or cryptocurrency and using the cryptocurrency to pay the mortgage off early. 
a similar sort of thing, but it's not linked to the mortgage, whereas the endowment policy was. Whereas Bitcoin is just in a separate account. See, crypto millionaires don't have their money in a bank because a bank doesn't understand crypto. It won't lend against crypto. Domain name investors don't have their assets in a bank because one, they can't store them in a bank because a bank hasn't worked it out yet with their assets. And individuals have digital collateral. You can see an individual walking down the street, a scruffy individual, <laughs> and they could have a domain name portfolio worth a few grand or a crypto portfolio worth millions. You don't, okay, there's a few flash people that have got a lot of crypto in the books, nice fast false cars, but a lot of people, even even investors, stock, stock market investors, some of them don't even own cars. You wouldn't even know that they were very, very wealthy. They're just a person that just understands the internet, stock market, crypto, Bitcoin, all that, yeah. domain names. I just try and make these videos to help people out. If these videos help you out, all well and good, but... Basically, yeah. if three tenants went to a bank with a tenancy agreement, they could probably get a mortgage and they could probably buy some of the money that they and the money that they have would actually make on it. The tenants make that. And then if you think about it, if, you, if three tenants went to a bank to get a mortgage, they would actually own their rooms and they could actually sell their rooms instead of actually renting the rooms out. Sell the rooms so when a person wants to move out of the house, they actually take out a room so they've got three separate mortgages for the rooms instead of actually one whole mortgage for the whole house so that a tenant just sells their mortgage and takes their rent money that they've paid back on the mortgage for the room instead of actually giving it to a landlord as rent, they've paid themselves it effectively by via a mortgage and they just sell the room to the next person that wants to own that room. You know, the rooms will be owned and not rented and they'll be owned directly from the room owner not rented to a landlord that's why I think we're going to go and cryptocurrency will help that happen quicker because a lot of individuals have got digital collateral that banks do not recognise and banks cannot lend traditional cash against digital collateral